Hello there. So the thought occurred to me. Most of the buyers of the new Acura Integra, 2023 Acura Integra, are manual transmission. But why not most, uh, like, by a large margin? I think, uh, last stat I heard it was 60%, but what about those 40? Like, seriously, the reason people get the Integra is to have fun, so... 40% are getting the CVT. Last Honda has made the best CVT on the market, but still, the manual transmission, I mean, look at those pedals. They're so awesome. So, it occurred to me that some people don't know how to drive a manual transmission, and although that is kind of sad, it doesn't have to be that way. Most cars these days are automatic, so when... These days, when you learn to drive a car, you're gonna learn on an automatic transmission, most likely. So, I wanted to make this video to see if we could boost the sales of the manual transmission, because the more people who buy the manual transmission, the more likely we'll, we'll get future cars with the manual transmission, and in particular, the Integra. So, first off, I think everybody's probably seen three pedals. Uh, this is the clutch, this is the brake, this is the gas. So, with your right foot, you're going to control the brake and the gas, just like an automatic transmission. With your left foot, you're going to control the clutch. Now, the Integra transmission, the manual transmission, is so amazing that it, it is just so easy to drive. And so there's not a ton that you need to get used to. Old old manual transmissions were quite a bit tougher, but with the uh, automatic rev matching and with just how plush and soft and cushy this clutch is, it's just it's just so nice to drive this car. So it, this is more like an automatic manual transmission than a manual transmission. So so real quick, um, you got your uh, knob here. So to start you off you want to push the clutch in all the way and it's a good habit to put your foot on the brake as well when you put the clutch in to shift gears so that's what you got to do to be able to shift gears so clutch always has to be in and everybody just loves this this uh manual transmission they say that the look and feel of it is just probably the best on the market Unless you get a Porsche, then they might be able to compete with this. But otherwise, this is like one of the cushiest and best manual transmissions and stick shift setups ever. So, clutch in, shift gear, right? So, you start out in first gear, go to second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So, usually you don't skip gears. Now, if you're going really fast, you know, you, you go to first gear you go to second gear. If you're going second gear, you redline in comfort mode. I haven't tested the other modes yet, but you redline about 50 miles an hour in second gear. Then you can shift to third gear. So you, you can't get to 60 in the second gear, unfortunately, but in third gear, you can get to almost 80, if that gives you an idea. So pretty great driving experience. Um, it's not a really ultra fast vehicle but it's a fast slow vehicle you know if you're comparing this to standards like the the Porsche or whatever right it's not that but it is a joy to drive and so let's first off let's start this thing up with that very long intro so we've got the uh, start button push the clutch in all the way um, and then press put put on the brake and then ooh, darn it that didn't didn't quite focus. Um, so, clutch in, put on the brake, put on the, uh, I don't know, clutch and brake, okay? And usually I'll just uh, like to be in neutral when I'm starting out, unless I'm, like, gonna drive off immediately, but uh, neutral. So first is we're gonna put the car into neutral. And the main thing here to engage um, and start moving is to get the sweet spot between the clutch and the gas. So as you're releasing the clutch, you're going to release the clutch slowly and then start to press the gas. Now you don't need to give it a ton of gas, okay? 
So that's probably all the gas you need. You really don't need that much more to engage. So I'll go ahead and kind of demonstrate this for you. So I'm gonna shift into first, okay? Um, here's the uh, e-brake, by the way. So we'll, we will release the e-brake, okay? So we're gonna release the brake and release the clutch slightly and then kind of press down on the gas ever so slightly. As you can see, you don't need to press the gas a lot and then you just kind of slowly ease off the clutch. Okay, so I'm in first gear right now. Just kind of ease off on the clutch. Okay, so now I'm gonna shift. And so you're in first gear, you can go usually to about 15 miles an hour in first gear. At that point, you want you really want to shift gears, but right now I'm just cruising in first. So let me show you how to shift into second. So second is right below first. So clutch in, and then ease off the clutch, and then press on the gas a little bit. So this Integra is extremely easy. Okay, so I'm going to come to a stop. To stop, just press the clutch in. Just get used to that, and then the get uh, the brake. Okay. So that's if you want to come to a stop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get into first and then switch to second this time and just kind of watch what my feet do. But essentially, the clutch comes out very slowly, ease on the accelerator, and then just kind of move the clutch out and then gas in. And you'll kind of, it's all feel. Okay, so you saw that. Okay. So, second gear, release the clutch a little. Press the gas a tiny. Like this, it doesn't take a ton of gas, so just kind of getting used to it. Those are the real basics. So first and second gear. Okay, so I'm braking, coming to a stop sign here. And so honestly, if you've never driven a stick, you could probably go and test drive this after watching this video and totally nail the Integra driving demo. Okay, so first gear, release the clutch a little. And kind of when I'm doing that, I'm doing it kind of smoothly. And when I get to about 3,000 RPMs, that's definitely a good time to shift gears. Okay. So now I'm in second gear. And I'm going to shift to third real quick just to, to show you. So third gear. Okay. Very smooth, very easy. My foot's a little bit on there. Okay. So now I'm coming to a stop. So clutch in, press the brake. I could, uh, as I'm braking, I can actually use the engine to help me brake. So that time I just press the clutch all the way in, um, stick is in neutral, and then just brake, right? But in actuality, you can use the gears. I'll kind of demonstrate that. I'll get into second gear and show you. Um, well, maybe I'll get into third. I'll, let's see here. Okay, so here's shifting to second, okay, okay, shifting into third, okay. So now I'm going to shift into second, so just slow. Now I'm shifting into second, notice I don't need to put my foot on the gas at all, I'm just kind of easing into second there. Okay, so that's kind of how you can use the brakes to uh, slow you down, so I'm in, I'm in second, I'll just, I'll just go into neutral, you know, instead of shifting into first. Um, a lot of times when you're driving, you don't really need to go back into th first gear. If you're in second gear and you're slowing down, you get to about 10 miles an hour, you probably just go straight into neutral and stop. Okay, so I'm in second gear, third gear. Okay, so you can kind of see that I'm easing off the clutch, not completely and not immediately. If you release the clutch immediately, you'll get some jerking movements, okay? So I'm about 4,000 RPM in third gear, going about 50 miles an hour. I'm gonna shift into fourth gear now, okay? So here's fourth gear. So I press the clutch in. That's gonna allow me to shift the gears, and then I ease off the clutch, press the gas in a little bit, you know? So, and by the way, between shifts, you're gonna let off the gas if you keep the gas down. Okay, so here I'm gonna, I'm gonna brake. Here's just an example, here's fourth gear. Here's second gear, or that was third gear, and here's second gear. Okay, now 10 miles an hour, clutch all the way in, I'm in neutral. Now I'm just at the light. Um, 
So what I was gonna say is when you're shifting gears, you ease off the gas. If you leave the gas pressed down and then the clutch, you're gonna rev the engine and that's not what you wanna do. So you'll let go of the gas and then you just kinda have to re-engage and find that sweet, sweet spot between the clutch and the gas. So here's first, okay, shifting into first. Just kind of a smooth, nice and easy. Here's second, so nice and easy. Okay, I'm getting about 36, 37 shift into third. Okay, now I'm going about 40. So you can kind of see that it's, it's very easy and the clutch here is so buttery smooth. Okay, so I'm, I'm 55, 4,500 RPM shift to, shift to fourth. Okay, so now fourth gear. Very easy to shift on this thing. So if if getting the manual transmission is kind of scary, I wouldn't be scared. It just makes it that much funner to drive this vehicle. So you should definitely consider it. Just you got to be a little brave. You're going to learn a new skill. But it's just so nice, and Acura has made, slash Honda has made, just an amazing transmission. This manual transmission is so nice. Now, I'm kind of revving at 3,500 RPM going 60. You can kind of hear the engine, it's working a little harder. Probably not the best fuel economy, so I'm in fourth gear. I'm going to switch to fifth gear. So, just to kind of show you. So, fourth to fifth. Just up and to the right a little. Okay, now I'm going about almost 3,000 RPM. Um, sixth gear is more of a cruising gear, so when you're going really high speeds, I'm going 60, so I don't need to, but I could if I wanted. Let me just show you what that looks like. Just down and to the right slightly. So now I'm, this is probably where I'm gonna get some pretty decent fuel economy, just cruising at higher speeds. And uh, I wouldn't be concerned about going into reverse at these high speeds, they usually lock the reverse gear out so you can't destroy your your uh, vehicle okay so I'm gonna break I'm gonna go back into fifth okay go back into fourth meanwhile see what my feet are doing I'm just using my feet to kind of slow down I'm not using the gas second and then stop so you can use the brakes as your or your uh, gears here to kind of help you slow down a little bit and the nice thing about this vehicle, the auto rev matching, you'll always have the right amount of RPMs when you are switching gears. It just, it does this really cool thing. In fact, there's kind of this fun thing. Um, so if you're in a gear, um, as you shift gears, it'll detect that you're shifting gears and then increase the revs if you need to. Okay, so I'm first gear. Okay, 15 miles an hour, second off the clutch press the gas in you can't see my uh, here's third gear you can't see my foot on the accelerator moving very much you just don't need to like slam that thing down as you're as you're learning this okay, here's fourth gear you're just kind of you're gonna just kind of ease into it you know um, so my gas is here uh, gas foot on the gas pedal just kind of cruising along I'm gonna show you another brake uh, so say uh, say you need to brake really fast. You know, I was showing you some kind of gradual situations, but if you need to brake really fast, the thing you want to be in the habit of is foot in on the clutch and then brake. So don't worry about what gear you're actually in on the stick shift. So let me just kind of demonstrate that for you. So if I need to slow down, just foot in and brake. Okay. So if a car slam, uh, kind of slams on their brakes in front of you and you need to stop really quick, that's what you do. And then you just kind of figure out what gear you need to be in to start up again. So both feet on the pedals here. Clutch in, brake, and then if you're kind of, if you're going about 15 miles an hour, then just put it in second, just kind of ease into second, right? And you'll get kind of an idea of what speeds you need need to be in before you kind of switch gears and stuff but the nice thing about this Integra they've made it such an excellent daily driver that with all the speed limit signs 
the gears just kind of match what what the typical speed limit signs will be. So you're always pretty much in an, uh, an optimal gear. So speed limit is 50. I'm in fourth gear going 47. It's fine. I could probably shift into fifth gear if I wanted to, but um, on a flat road, it's okay to be at about 2,500 RPM, just kind of cruising along, maybe a little less, but don't, I wouldn't generally go below 2,000 RPM cruising along. You want to have decent torque, you know, enough power to be able to keep the, the car moving and not lugging the engine, you know, you don't want to make the engine work, work harder than it needs to. But uh, if you're going up a hill, you want to have decent torque delivery. So I'll usually, if I'm going up kind of a steeper hill, I'll usually kind of keep it at 3,000 RPM. That'll give you a decent amount of power and uh, keep your car moving along. And so generally, that's all there is to it, you know? It's just a matter of practice and feel. But those pedals, I mean, the pedals already look so amazing. I don't know why you, would, you wouldn't want to get it. So, yeah, okay, so here. I'm gonna do a shifting down. Here's third, here's second, I'm stopping and then stopped, okay? And uh, I kind of noticed with this car, I don't mind getting to a stoplight because it just gives me more of a chance to, uh, you know, row through the gears. It's just so fun, so I, I welcome a stoplight. <laughs> and then when you're first in line, then you just kind of take off. I'm not gonna show that today. This is just more to give you an idea of how to just learn this manual transmission. But, um, so I was teaching my 15 year old, I know I'm, I'm old, but uh, I was teaching my 15 year old, she's never driven a car in her entire life. Uh, not even an automatic transmission, okay? So no joke. Yesterday I was showing her how to do this. I was giving her the basics, just like I'm giving you. And I explained all this and I demonstrated it to to her with with this tutorial. Um, I actually made a different one, but I thought I'll, I'll remake it, maybe cut it down. Uh, but anyway, I showed her, and just by watching what I was doing, she seriously started the car put it in first and took off, did not stall the car. And so we were just cruising around a parking lot. Um, but she she totally nailed it. With this Integra, it makes it so easy. Okay, I'm gonna slow down here. It makes it so easy to engage and to start moving. So that, I mean, think about that. That's somebody who's never driven a car at all. <laughs> and this, this car just makes it so smooth and nice and easy. And that right there, that is just a huge compliment to Honda slash Acura. If you can make an, uh, a manual transmission so good and take a, beginning, a beginner driver, never driven a car before in their life, and then just with a brief tutorial, be able to start and, and switch into first gear and then switch into second gear without stalling the vehicle. Like seriously, that is huge props to Honda slash Acura. The manual transmission is not like any manual transmission that you've maybe been afraid of learning. So this thing is totally worth it um, to learn. And I just hope that everybody who is thinking about getting a CVT please reconsider. The CVT is great. Yeah, it's an automatic. If you want to be lazy and stuff, then that's probably the best bet. But if you want to have fun, okay, this is, this is going to be the best option. So the other thing that's kind of stressful for um, new learners of the manual transmission is starting and stopping on hills. Um, so if you stop on a hill, you know, with, with that clutch pushed in all the way, you gotta, there's a, 
a little bit of time where you're possibly going to roll back, you know, like you don't want to roll into a car. So if you're on an incline that is that is steep enough that you could roll back, if there's that risk, this Integra is so smart that it's going to detect that and it has hill assist. So the car will, rema will remain in place and it will not roll. And I've, I've tested this on um, a street where I was backing up a hill, okay? So the car was pointed downhill. I needed to back up and it held me in place. It didn't move forward down the hill. And then obviously I've tested going up a hill. It didn't move me back. So if that's deterring you, just the fear of rolling back and smashing into the drivers behind you, don't let that deter you. Because this thing, oh my goodness, they've done such a good job in leaving what's fun about the manual transmission and taking out what's not so fun. So if I compare driving this versus my 98 Integra, okay, by the way, I'm in third, I'm gonna slow down to second. So see, no gas, okay. And I'm going 15 around the corner, so I don't really need to shift into any other gears. I just kind of ride it through. Uh, but like I was saying, if I was driving my uh, 98 GSR, the manual transmission in that is leaps and bounds different. After I drive this, it's, this clutch is so buttery smooth, and the shifting is so smooth that I kind of have to relearn how to drive that car again. <laughs> it's not to say that it's um, really difficult, you know, but it's just a completely different experience, and this is a much more smooth experience than than uh, the manual transmissions from the past. So I'm on a hill. I don't know if you can tell. It's not a huge hill, but uh, it's definitely a hill. So am I going to roll back in this 2023 Acura Integra? going to ease off the clutch when it turns green. Am I going to roll back? So this is one of those stressful situations. I've got a car behind me. I don't want to hit him. Uh, but as soon as that that light turns green, I don't want to roll back between letting off the clutch so that you don't go back. So am I going to do it? Let's try it. Oh, it did not roll back. It kept me engaged. Try that again. Ah, kept me engaged. I didn't roll back. So there you go. Back your Integra. Amazing manual transmission. So seriously consider this and I, I'm not exaggerating at all. I was able to teach uh, my 15 year old how to switch into first gear, take off, didn't stall the car. Like that just tells you right there how amazing this thing is. So um, just think about that, okay? Consider the manual transmission. Let's get the sales 80% manual transmission and 20% for those who don't really know what a CVT is, don't really mind. But if you want to have kind of a nice experience, this is it. Okay, so a little tutorial on kind of inching forward. So if you're, if you just need to inch forward, say you're in the drive-thru or whatever, and you don't want to go real fast, you don't want to take off real fast, you're going to kind of keep that clutch and gas in kind of a um, halfway engaged mode, right? So you shift into first. I'm not going to take my foot off the clutch. I'm not going to give it full gas. I'll kind of use that clutch to kind of keep me moving forward, but not too fast. So let me just show you. I'm just going to kind of inch forward. Okay, so you can kind of see my foot's on, on the clutch still, still engaged. Okay, and this allows you um, to not stall the car if you're going too slow. Because obviously if you if you are going too slow, you could stall the car. So I'm just inching forward. And like I said, it's all feel. So you can kind of see my clutch moves. You know, just keep enough gas. You wanna, you wanna have enough gas and enough, um, you just find that sweet spot with the clutch to where you're moving, but you're not um, gonna stall the car. And like I said, it's really easy in this vehicle. 
So I would totally recommend it. Uh, there's not really a ton that you can improve with this experience. You know, the only thing that I would say that they could improve on Acura is the dead pedal. It doesn't look great, but those pedals, you know, these are really, really pretty. And Civic Si comes with the same experience, so, um, and it comes in only manual transmission in that case. But, but again, the Integra has has more options, and so think about that now when you are parking your car. Okay. Um, since I do have an e-brake, that's definitely good to have. I just get in the habit of putting the car into first gear so that you just have another safety measure. So, you know, clutch in and then shift the gear into first. Okay. That'll keep it from rolling. And then turn the power off. Okay. So that's it. So with the uh, brake engaged, okay, got my brake engaged, uh, I can let off the gas and I'm good. And then next time I need to start this up, um, clutch in, brake in shift to whatever gear first you need to be in, or neutral, and then start the car up. The, the cool thing about this thing is, is um, if you just have the brake pressed and you go to start, it'll actually tell you to start engine, clutch plus um, push. Okay, so press the clutch in and then push. So you don't even need to have your foot on the brake technically. I just do it out of habit because I don't want to roll back. But clutch in and then you can start it up. But to park it, put it in first gear and then turn it off. Okay, by the way, take a look at that beautiful engine start stop button. It is so sweet. Anyway, enjoy and uh, good luck. I hope you decide to get that manual transmission. If you're on the fence, don't be. You will enjoy it. It's it's such a joy to drive this car. Hope after you watch this, you go test drive your Integra and put your order in for the manual. See everybody.